Twine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for another episode of the show and uh, we've got another white wine and I bought this wine well first of all okay uh, as you can tell I'm in the world market kit right now and um, so I walked in the world market and I saw this label so it's California conspiracy and I think it was the red one I saw but um, as I was walking through the world market I decided I you know look out for it see if I found a, a white wine because I needed to do some white wines, hadn't done any in a while. So um, let's get right to it. This is the non-vintage California Conspiracy White Table Wine from California. So the that means these grapes can come from anywhere in the state. Do a little rinse first. Um, on the back of the bottle, it tells you that they, uh, what is it, the winemakers, each year, I'll just read it. Each year our winemakers conspire with the top tier growers of California to obtain some of their uh, prize grapes, these top secret relationships gives us insider, blah, 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 whatever. So as a result, we're not able to provide you with a wine. As a result, we are, we are able to provide you with a wine so richly flavored and deeply complex, it's almost criminal to pass this up. So what they're basically saying is they've got these secret relationships, conspiracy, um, with these grape growers and winemakers and blah, 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 to get top quality grapes to put into their bottle, and they sell it for $8.98 at World Market. So um, I guess it's just a conspiracy that it could be sold for so cheap. I mean, supposing this is good stuff. So let's see uh, if it's any good. Uh, by the way, the the company says, or the on the back says, vented and bottled by California conspiracy sellers, uh, Santa Rosa, California. So that's where they're located, though I can't find anything on the net. A little bit fruity. It's really light. Um, I don't get a whole heck of a lot on the on the uh, bouquet. Somewhat tropical. It's very similar, but not quite similar to the Paso a Paso from Wednesday. But it's more melony, more cantaloupe type rather than, you know, kiwi. Pour a little more in there. So I can really have some wine to do that. Yeah, I get more of a cantaloupe or melon type of, of uh, aroma than anything else. Let's see how it tastes. It's interesting. Um, it's maybe a hint of pineapple in there. Yeah, you get a little bit, just a little bit of sweetness, very, very slight sweetness, a little bit of sugar in there. Nothing overpowering, nothing to make you go, ooh, it's all sickly sweet. Um, it's pleasant, um, but it's, it, again, like, like Wednesday's wine, it's really just kind of one dimensional. I get the pineapple-y type of, of flavor to it with a, with a hint of sugar. Um, and I don't know, 
maybe maybe like it just makes me think of pineapples and green peppers like like you kind of had that that pizza type of thing you know though you don't get the pe i'm not getting the cheese and the and, and any type of pizza thing but just kind of that maybe a little bit of spice to to the pineapple uh it's really subtle um i think it's just a nice way of saying it's 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 very faint um but um uh, it's not a bad wine um I bought because I thought the name was kind of funny, you know, California Conspiracy. And um, uh, I was hoping to do this in the morning, but it's the afternoon right now, so I couldn't do that. But um, it's all right, you know, $8.98, so $9 for this bottle of wine. If you find it, I think it's a nice little wine to get. Um, it's an everyday wine. Um, again, for the summertime that's coming up, it'll probably go well with anything that you do that. Uh, I could definitely see this really kind of pairing this more with fruit salads um, and salads. Like on Wednesday's one, I talked about more of the uh, seafood thing. This, I can see, you know, a nice, uh, uh, where did I go that had a, a pretty good, oh, well, went to the bumper, the bumper, went to bumper on last Thursday. Um, so we could go yesterday, according to the video. And uh, there was a spinach salad with some pecans, which I'm usually not a fan of nuts, and uh, strawberries and it, like a balsamic glaze. Or balsamic uh, uh, vinaigrette this would go really well with that so a spinach salad uh, and as I think about this with the food I'm starting to like the wine a little more um, I was probably gonna give it an 86 but yeah I, I think 87 I'll go a little bit higher um, just because I'm thinking of that food pairing that I think I would have loved to have had this wine with that with that salad uh, last week so so definitely um, check it out um, I definitely will go back to World Market at some point in time to get the red, just to see what it's like. Um, let's see what else. I uh, hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. You know, this probably would go well with some Easter stuff too. Um, if you happen to be near World Market today, tomorrow, um, or even Sunday and be able to buy it, it would probably go with some, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, that's going to do it for the show. Uh, the money pitch, just make sure you're uh, contributing. Uh, make sure you're helping me out with... See, I had to put the Imperial March in there with the conspiracy and all that. Um, PayPal. You can uh, do one-time contribution. You can... Friend, uh, I'm sorry, friend, friend me up also, but you can do the $5 a month subscription. And then, if you know, remember up here on top about the hole in the scroll at the end, if you actually get to the very end of this. Um, 50 bucks, you get to become an executive producer of, of this episode, or at least the next episode that uh, I would see, not this episode, a future episode. But um, So help me pay for the wine, swag, and all that good stuff. Maybe I'll get some more swag besides just those t-shirts eventually. Um, so we got that. Friend me up. iTunes. Uh, you can subscribe on this on iTunes. You can get download, watch it on your iPhone. You know, you can even watch it on your Apple TV or your multimedia PC and put it on your TV. That's how I watch most of my podcasts. I make sure they're either I put them on the phone and plug it into the TV uh, or I is directly hooked up to the computer and do that. It's really, really great to do that type of stuff. Um, other than that, I hope everyone is going to have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Um, and if, uh, if you celebrate Easter, I hope you have a wonderful Easter. And that's going to do it. We'll see everybody again on Monday.